Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to day two of Senior Night. I'm your host, Elazar Perez, with my partner, Pat Pfeiffer, and today, it is the Plattsburgh Cardinals versus Canton. How do you feel about this matchup? Eli, it's good to be back. It is. An really another game back. for these Cardinals, 20 wins on the year, and it's Senior Night today, so should be a fun one. Really, really, it is a fun one tonight. How many seniors we have graduating? Like, how many seniors do you have tonight? Seven. Uh, congrats to all of them. That's awesome that they're graduating. Um, from Sarah Krosnick, Ashley Davis, Holly Schmelzer, Chloe uh, Bowen, Sierra Benjamin, Nicole Unsworth, and Hannah Rose. So good luck to them tonight. Should be a lot of fun. Ashley Davis is a senior? All right. Somebody may have to get me one of her jerseys. Like, I need to get a jersey signed by her before she graduates. But Canton, Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh going with an eight to nothing history against Canton on a 12 game winning streak. You think they can make a 13? Yeah, they're hot, Eli. They, even last weekend against Cortland, that game, they came out kind of slow, but they came back on fire, completely dominated the rest of the game. So I expect to see more of that today. Canton fighting for the last spot of the playoffs. Right now, they're going against a hot team. Defensively, do you think Canton can stop the Cardinals? We'll see. It'll be interesting. Uh, Canton's fighting for that last playoff spot with Potsdam, trying to get the fourth seed. Uh, Plattsburgh already clinched the one seed, so they're not really playing for anything today, but it is senior night, so emotions are probably high. Uh, it's a nice night for a lot of these girls. So Emotions are going to be high, especially after last night, after the men's team won against what was it? Potsdam. It was a feisty night, a heated night, and I'm I can say that in the studio here and over there in the arena, everybody was having fun. Yeah, it was crazy. You might see more of that uh, physicality tonight in this one. Oh, especially knowing that the girls, this could be a playoff preview. If Canton can hold on to their spot with a win today, Canton, you know, they could really hold off the fourth spot, hoping that Pasta uh, does get the L. But right now, can the Cardinals be, you know, can they be in the role of spoilers? Maybe. Um, who knows, Eli? But it doesn't matter necessarily how – well, for Can, they need to win this game to get into the playoffs, obviously, to clinch. But when you get into the playoffs, that's all that really matters, not how you get there. It's that you're in. Anything can happen, really. The Cardinals have a great record, but they could, they could lose first round against Can, absolutely. So once you're in there, uh, all bets are off. Everything that happened in the regular season, you get your seeding. But uh, it's anyone's game, really, in the playoffs. No, it really is everybody's game, especially in senior night today. Most exciting night for the seniors to celebrate after a long years of achievements and everything. How do you think, what's going through the seniors' minds right now? There's probably a little bit of butterflies, you know, your last season here. Uh, you want to make it memorable, and obviously the playoffs coming up, like, you want to you be ready for them and everything. So hopefully emotions aren't running too high, you know, stay disciplined, all that. But they should just have fun tonight. They locked up the one seed, so just have a good one. Ashley Davis, our starting goalie for tonight for Plattsburgh. Really, she had an amazing performance last game in, with Cortland. Started back-to-back -back games, and her percentage, her save percentage was on track. She locked down both Cortland. You think she can lock down Cannon tonight? Absolutely. She was awesome last weekend, making every save. Had a little bit of a rough start. Cortland's got some great players, but she came up to the task and was a brick wall. This really is. Anybody you really got in mind to get the first goal or something? What's your thing? What's my, my bet's on Crossneck. She was really good last weekend. She had a ton of shots. Wasn't showing up on the the score sheet, but she was awesome. She was everywhere in front of the net. I'm still trying to figure out is Crossneck still? Yeah, Crossneck is second right now for points and goals. A little bit far behind for goals, but points. She's right there behind one of the possible dance players. Um, overall. I want to see Crossneck really pop off tonight. Yeah. I feel like she's a good player. No, she's an amazing player. And for her last, you know, for her senior night today, she wants to really, you know, show off to the crowd. Yeah. And overall, I hope to get a Crossneck jersey after the game. Hopefully she does see this. But Plattsburgh, last two games. I, hopefully it is. I'm not jinxing this out. But, you know. Plattsburgh, coming to the last stretch of the season, you think, you know, everything's at ease right now in their mindset? Yeah, I think one of the big factors for Plattsburgh going into the playoffs is the power play. I think if, if they get that power play role, and I think they might be pretty much unstoppable. They're 27 for 73 on the year, 37%. They're scoring almost a third of the time, over a third of the time. 
That's utterly unreal. Compared to Canton's power play, 9 for 62 on the year, 14%. So mm -hmm. I think you, you put Plattsburgh on the extra man, you might pay for it. That's, that's really true. Plattsburgh really does take advantage in the power play last night. The boys were a little bit, you know, they did take advantage of it. Can the girls take advantage in power plays? Can they, you know, stay out of the box? That's the real question. Yeah, I think so. I think they're really uh, undisciplined, and I, I think we'll see that tonight. Well, as we wrap it up here in the studio, we're going to send it down to the arena with our boys who are going to be covering the game. I'll see y'all there.
sung by the Plattsburgh State Gospel Choir. Welcome one, welcome all in to the Ronald B. Stafford Arena for tonight's matchup on senior night for the ladies between the traveling Canton Kangaroos and your Plattsburgh State Cardinals. I'm Bruce Juno. Join alongside me again, Joe Mason. Always a pleasure. Always How are you pleasure, feeling Bruce. about tonight? Big game tonight, emotions on both ends. Canton obviously looking for redemption from that loss earlier in the season. Plattsburgh with a lot of their families here, crowd rounding the Ronald B. Stafford Ice Arena, and it's senior night, so a lot to uh, be proud of for these seniors. And yeah, we're looking forward to talking about it as the uh, game progresses. Yeah, and these two teams have actually played twice this season. Oh, have they? Yeah, uh, both wins went to Plattsburgh. They, were, uh, they traveled away um, and won at Canton 5-2, to two, and Canton came here where Plattsburgh won one to nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with the one nothing loss, so Again, I've talked to, as I usually do, I have the pleasure of talking with a lot of these players. So uh, more on that as the game progresses because they had some uh, some choice words to say about each other and they were pretty good. Yeah, well where puck has dropped, faceoff goes in favor of the ruse. It'll come into the Plattsburgh zone. Cho now with the puck, finds Krosnick. Krosnick up the Schmelzer, gets a caught in her feet. Now Krosnick will pick it up, drop it off to Unsworth. Unsworth with a shot. The first save made by Alvarez. Now Unsworth looking for a teammate. It'll fall to Krosnick. Another save by Alvarez. The Ruse trying to break out of their zone. They do into the neutral zone, but the puck comes to Wall. Wall now taking it into the zone herself, waiting for her teammates as they go off for a change. Big skirmish. Puck will fall to the Ruse. Now, that's Cameron Barnes slinging it into the Pottsburg zone. And it's picked up on the defense by the Cardinals. Now, Orr looks forward for Wall. Jostled with three ruse, but she will get it into the ruse zone. Now, ruse looking to break out. Mishandle, Orr with the shot. That one goes wide. Now, Balfour. Puck still in the ruse zone as they look to break out. Jostle at the blue line, but it will come out of the zone. Allow for the ruse to look for some offense. Balfour, cross ice. Circling through the neutral zone and into the offensive zone. That's Stum. Behind the net, puck falls to Calhoun. Back to Stum. Stum looks to Thompson. Thompson. Cross ice. Shot and save by Alvarez and held on. And that's Serena Alvarez. Had the pleasure of speaking with her this week. Oh, did you now? And it, yes, I did. <laughs> and I will say this for the numbers she's put up this season, she's very humble. She was the Newell goalie of the week this past week. She likes the recognition, but she said she wouldn't be able to do it without her teammates. 
And it seems like a common occurrence for a lot of players who are putting up good numbers over the past two games we've done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen. That's what you got to be. It's absolutely. Being humble is being respectful of your teammates, but also understanding that your game is important as well. Exactly. Now Schmelzer looking for a shot saved by Alvarez. Picked up by a ruse defender. Quint can't quite clear, can't quite clear the zone. There we go. Now. And dumping it into the zone, going off for a change. Wazik goes behind the cardinal net to collect. Skating it up ice herself. Gets past one. Gets it into the offensive zone, but it'll immediately immediately get Yo, okay, Bruce? I'm stumbling on my words right now, Okay, Joe. buddy. Dumped into the Rue zone, picked up by the defense, challenged by Rivers Morris. Benjamin holding it at the blue line, and Morris will throw it into the Rue zone to be collected by Kira O'Keefe. So that's Jarkowski. Puck comes in front, only as far as Benjamin. Slaps it, just goes wide. Picked up again by Jarkowski. Benjamin looks for a shot through traffic, kicked away by Alvarez. Yarkovsky again with it. Looks cross ice to Cho. Cho, one timer, saved by Alvarez, picked up by the Ruse. Is this uh, Connor Green 2.0 here, Bruce? I mean, I don't know. She's looking good so far, Joe. Yes, she is. And she's from Yiva Skyla, Finland. So. That's a tongue twister. Yes, it is. <laughs> So that's how you pronounce that. Yes, yeah. I would have said uh, Jivaskilla. <laughs> that's what happens when you have the pleasure of talking with the players. Yeah, so you I'm get glad to know you're here, things. Joe. Now Krosnick looks forward, finds Masoda. Masoda gets her pocket pick, but comes back to Krosnick. Krosnick now, pass back to Norton. Norton looks up for Boric, who gets the tip. No icing. Alvarez comes out to collect. Jocelyn in the corner. Slung forward, but held in the zone by Balfour. Boric now looks behind the net to Masoda. Off the skate of a Rue defender. Again, Balfour with it. Banks it behind the net. Masoda looking for the tip back, but Krosnick was going off for a change. Now Balfour over to Norton. Norton takes it up herself and dumps it into the zone. That'll be collected by Ruffalo. Now Wall, Tara Wall, taking on two Ruse. That's picked up by Jane Panko. Panko with a fight with Wall. Puck is still being held in the Ruse zone, but now it will be cleared out by Asha Hansen. As she dumps it into the zone and the Ruse go out for a change. Balfour, in a fight behind the net, loses possession. Gets tied up, Wall comes to collect, over to Norton. Norton looks for Unsworth, pass off the boards. Unsworth forward to Wall, Wall now. One on one with the Rue, takes it to the corner, circles back, waits for some defense. Sierra Thompson, rips one, saved by Alvarez. Nice save by Alvarez. Zone is cleared, Wazik to collect. Dumps it in for the Cardinals to chase. Current shots four to nothing in favor of the Cardinals. Schmelzer in the corner, gets help from Yarkovsky, picked up by Victoria McGarity. Pass forward for Schmelzer to chase. No icing, says the referee. Good play by Schmelzer winning that race and keeping possession in the Rue zone. Especially when it looks like it was going to be icing. Oh, Could absolutely. be wrong. I don't know if there was a tip or not. It certainly looked that way by the determination of both players. That's the first save that Ashley Davis has had to make tonight. Able to kick that one to the corner. Picked up by Calhoun. Calhoun puts it behind the net for Thompson. Thompson looks forward to Schmelzer. Schmelzer dumps it into the Rue zone, and the Cardinals will go off for a change. Now, Cardinals pick the puck here. That's Riggy. Back to Yarkovsky. Yarkovsky looks for a shot, kicked away by Alvarez. Plattsburgh still maintaining possession. Cho fans on it, but able to get her stick back on the puck. 
Shell with a nice shot. That one goes through the legs of Alvarez and hits the post, but it's able to be cleared away by Can. As we've said time and time again, Bruce, a game of inches. Exactly. Well, that's a nice tip by Yarkovsky. Just goes wide. Riggy now looking for Yarkovsky. Yarkovsky circles around. Gets taken away by Aru, but back to Riggy. Riggy to Cho. Cho with the shot. Takes another deflection, but that one will bounce into the corner. Looking to clear the zone, but collected by Benjamin. Benjamin circling around, taking it herself. Able to beat one, hold possession, look in front of the net. Can't find Masoda, and her pocket's picked. Now Masoda able to pick up the puck in the corner. Sierra Benjamin, Benjamin, shot on net. That one goes wide. Now Boric to Krosnick. Now Cho. Win by Asha Hansen. The current ruse on the ice have been on there for quite a long time, Joe. Yeah, this is taking time off the clock. Four players in the corner and it finally gets released down to the flat zone. Now Norton up to Krosnick. Krosnick on a break, looks for a teammate. Great defensive play, however, by Michaela Young. Now Masoda and Boric versus Young. Help came for the ruse, and they will come and collect. Krosnick fighting in the corner. Now Boric. A lot of time Bruce. in the ruse zone there, Bruce. Yeah, there definitely has been a lot of momentum in favor of the Cardinals so far. It does say there has been no shots for the ruse, but we all know that Ashley Davis had that one save. There was the one save. And when it comes to the icing, Taya Balfour in for it. Had the pleasure of speaking with her. She's a first, uh, or actually sex, second semester freshman. Loves Plattsburgh. The team has been nice, accepting, and the skill level and passing ability has been more mature than what she was used to in juniors. That's a very professional response. Very down to earth, too. That's what you love to hear when it comes to these college players. Yeah. Humble, down to earth. That's what you like to see. Balfour holds it in the zone, able to find Unsworth. Unsworth getting wrestled in the corner, comes to Wall. Now back to Wall, looks for the shot, that one goes wide. Ruse pick it up in the corner, but still unable to clear the zone. Behind the net, it gets challenged by Oshansky, falls to Wall. Oshansky now in a fight for it, but it's picked up. Balfour. Circling, Ruse finally able to get a change. Finds Unsworth, Unsworth gets challenged by two Ruse and they'll take possession, cross ice pass. Dump and chase for Cameron Barnes who will beat out Norton. Puck falls to Grayson Emerton who fights with Calhoun. Still a skirmish in the Plattsburgh corner and it'll finally get kicked out. Shot across. Sticked away by Ashley Davis. Now Couture rips one. Davis didn't know where that was, but it goes wide. That was a fast buck, Bruce, from up here. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley Davis didn't move. She just no. dropped and had no clue where the puck was. And Norton forward to Calhoun. Almost Calhoun had a break. to Chase. Yeah, that was great vision by Boric. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, could not get the breakaway. Schmelzer, back to Wozik. Wozik rips one on net, hits bodies, knocked down. Schmelzer able to keep it in the zone. Chased behind by Stum. We picked up by the Ruse Ashta Hansen. Now Ruse finally clear, but Wozik still there, waiting for the players to get back in the neutral zone. No offsides. Collected by Hansen. Pass around the boards. Only as far as Thompson comes out to Wozik. Wozik circles in, takes a shot. That takes a deflection. What a save by Alvarez. And the Ruse Big still save. managed to keep it out of their net. Huge save by Alvarez on the initial shot and the rebound. Wozik now wins that fight over to Thompson. Thompson to Orr, Orr to Riggy. Riggy gets challenged by Aru, and it's picked up by Desiree Snook. Plattsburgh back in possession. Or moving through center ice. Gets challenged by four Ruse. 
and she'll lose possession, but it'll still stay in the Ruse zone. Alvarez will cover and allow for the faceoff to come in the defensive zone. And more about Alvarez, she played hockey in Canada, not too far from Plattsburgh. And surprisingly, I found this very surprising, her only offer here in the States was SUNY Canton. And she's made the most of it. Hey, that's what you got to do. 11-7-1 this season for her. Take what you get, make the most of it. Now, Ruse looking to clear the zone. They do, dumping into the Plattsburgh zone. That's Danica Lalonde. It's picked up by Boric. Boric, cross ice. Tipped by Krosnick to Cho to Krosnick. Krosnick dumps it in behind Alvarez. It's collected by Couture. Pass forward, picked off. Back to Benjamin. Over to Krosnick. Krosnick to Cho. Cho looking for a shot. Takes a deflection. Finds with Soda. She's unable to put it on target. Now. Another pass, pick pass by Boric to Masoda. Masoda looking for the shot, but it's covered by Alvarez. What a first period so far by the Plattsburgh Cardinals. This has been all Cardinals. Every minute of this game so far has been all Cardinals. Ashley Davis has had to make apparently no saves, but she sticks some away. Some have gone off the side of the net, but nothing major. Yeah, and Plattsburgh just looking dominant right now. Nothing to show for it, though. Alvarez has just been up to the task. Now Balfour to collect. Looks up for Unsworth. Unsworth looks to keep it going. Kept in by Michaela Young. Young and Unsworth fighting with it, but it falls to Balfour. Balfour looks cross ice. Able to find Yarkovsky. My apologies, that's Olshansky. Unsworth gets hit. Loses the puck to Kira O'Keefe. Now Norton. Gets fighting for it with Barnes. Barnes gets help from a teammate. It's taken, pass back to Balfour, over to Unsworth. But it's cleared back into the zone by Hansen. Now Calhoun, picked up by Aru. Entering into the Plattsburgh zone, challenging behind the net. That's Norton and McGarity. Now Calhoun with it, skating through the neutral zone. She's one on two, looks for a quick shot. Alvarez kicked away. Picked up by Schmelzer. Looks in front of the net. There's two Cardinals there. That's a great defensive play. Coming from Panko, able to lift the stick. Huge, huge defensive play. Had she not been there, there would have been a nice possible tip in. Yeah. But Alvarez, again, has been very good for this Canton team. Now Panko. Clears it up and out of her zone, only as far as Calhoun. But then picked up by McGarity. McGarity skating up ice, dumping into the zone, going off for a change. The puck will come around the boards to Wozik. Now, shot on. Oh, and it was dropped. It was fumbled by Ashley Davis, but she's her, able to her, make a... Her first of the night, apparently, but... Again, not a dangerous chance. I feel like the Cardinals have had the bigger chances, the more dangerous chances closer to the net, the point blank chances. Nothing really for these Canton Roos here. Yeah, and I, I went silent there for a second because I wanted to make sure I was pronouncing Wozik's name right. Yes, yes, Kendall <laughs> Wozik. For some reason I second guessed myself. Anywho, here's Yarkovsky, two on two with Morris, dumps it into the zone to chase. That'll be collected by Garufalo but it'll only come as far as Plattsburgh player. Now, pass over, unable to be collected by McKilveen. Up to Morris, Morris skating forward, looks to deke one, hits off a skate, tries to stick with it, but it's sticked away. Now, two ruse, two cards, fighting in the corner. Picked up by Boric, but only comes as far as a rue. Now, a whistle and a stoppage in play as there will be a face-off at center ice. When it comes to Rivers Morris, I had the pleasure of talking with her. She said this team has good chemistry and among the team, they're all excited to be playing together and seeing each other succeed. And so far, 22 and 0, what's not to like? Yeah, I can't agree with you more. 
Or them more. <laughs> I don't know who I'm agreeing with at this point. Everybody. <laughs> Rosnick loses the puck, but it comes to the corner where Bork will collect. Bork back to Benjamin. Benjamin looks for a slap shot. It's saved by Alvarez. She's lost it. Masoda circles. Alvarez still on the ground, and she's able to collect it. Masoda gets taken down. A little skirmish in front of the net. You know, a little friendly jostling. Not like last night, Bruce. Oh, last night there was Those like eight or nine. <laughs> dangerous skirmishes last night, my goodness. Yeah, it was a, a night. Masoda trying to tip that one in, find anything she could, but Kira O'Keefe was having none of it. Masoda loses the face off. It's picked up by Young, who loses it. Now Masoda. Fighting for it, it'll fall back to Cho. Cho over to Benjamin. Benjamin cross ice to Masoda. Masoda one on one, drops off for Krosnick. Krosnick looks back for Masoda, but it'll be cleared away by the Rue defense. Popped out through the middle and out to center ice. Benjamin to collect, looks up to Krosnick. Krosnick looks for Masoda, hits her skate, and it's lost away. Now picked back up by Plattsburgh. Krosnick dumps it into the zone. Alvarez to collect. For Panko, Panko, looking forward, finds a teammate. This is Emerton, Emerton, taking it in herself. Four Cardinals in the way, picked up by Unsworth. Chipped around for Balfour. Now Balfour looking for the pass, finds it across to Olshansky. Olshansky looks for Unsworth. It's caught in the skates. Olshansky will get a shot, big deflection, and it'll go in the back of the net. Great follow up. From Oshans Olshansky, May Olshansky, as that puck will find the back of the net. And Plattsburgh go take a 1-0 lead. Yeah, May Olshansky, the junior from Wilmette, Illinois, from the North American Hockey Academy. Her 27th career goal, 13th this season. May Olshansky able to find the back of the net off her initial shot. Big rebound given up by Alvarez. And Olshansky was able to circle around and just backhand it, top cheese. Yeah, but <laughs> give credit where credit is due to Alvarez. She's been lights out, 13 shots this this period, only one going through. And You can only do so, mu so much. Yeah, you can only do so much. If the team in front of you is not doing that much, only three shots on Ashley Davis so far, I wouldn't blame Alvarez on that. It was just a good, good chance. Wall wins the faceoff over Emerton, dumped in by Balfour, collected by Alvarez. Now, circling around is Young. Young with the pass forward, takes a deflection off Stum, collected by O'Keefe. O'Keefe taking it around her own net, stops, met by Stum. Stum, able to take possession, circles, looks for Wall. Wall gets in a jostle behind the net with Young. Maintains possession, looks over to Stum. Stum and Young, and a chip in front of the net. A lot of bodies there, then it'll pop out to Balfour. Now, Unsworth, looks for a slap shot, takes a deflection. Glove down by Wall, and that one almost found the back of the net, Joe. Just whistled wide. I thought it might have been in the net from this vantage yeah, point. Yeah, that's what it looked like. But then I saw it pop out, and I was like, oh, all right. O'Keefe okay, now takes possession. We'll chip it into the zone and allow for the Roos to go off for a change as it's collected by Norton. Yeah, circling around is the Hanson. Hanson's fans on it. Unsworth collects, looks in front to Calhoun, and it goes through her skates. Now Yarkovsky, met by a Roo. Able to chip it forward only as far as Norton who keeps it in. Calhoun there now. Two ruse, three cards, Jocelyn for the puck. Calhoun's laying on it, but it's able to be chipped out and collected by Balfour. And Balfour, I spoke with her, as I said. She said you can't take Canton lightly. I mean, a one nothing win. Couldn't get much offense, despite peppering Alvarez. They're hyped up. They're ready to bring the effort, the determination, and they're ready to play hard. And they have been through yeah, that's what you 19 minutes. Danko able to find Snook. Snook. Taking it forward, looks for a quick shot, blockered away by Alvarez. Or now you got me saying Alvarez. <laughs> Ashley Davis. He's been saying Alvarez for 13 shot attempts. Yeah. Now Orr gets her pocket pick. Collecting is Thompson. Over to Wazik. Wazik forward. 
Thomas Plattsburgh into the zone through Boric. Krosnick over to Masoda. Masoda circles around back to Wazik. Wazik over to Thompson. Thompson finds Boric. Boric looks in front of the net. Lifted stick, no shot. Taken away by the Ruse. That's Danica Lalon. Met by two cards. Krosnick enters the zone to be chased by Boric. Collected by O'Keefe. Around to Tilly Couture. Now Krosnick fighting for the puck with Barnes. Picked up by Boric. Boric looks cross ice for Minnesota. Can't quite find the tip. Good chance. Really good chance by these Cardinals. Good oh. game so far by them as well. I agree. A lot of momentum is going to be going into the second period in favor of the Cardinals. It's been all Cardinals this period. Canton is going to have to figure something out as this one will not go for icing as Schmelzer's there again and then takes out the ref. That was a, uh, that was a awkward series of events. Yeah, referee and one of the players in the corner both went down. But yeah, we have 20 seconds, just over 20 seconds remaining in the first period. Ashley Davis held probably a smart decision because I think there was a lot of confusion after that. There happened. was, there was. A lot of discomfort and a lot of confusion on both <laughs> sides of the ice. Face off between Leighton and Wall. Leighton wins it, gets a shot away, blockered away by Davis. Skirmish behind the net. Picked up by Benjamin. Uh, 10 seconds remain. That's the goal scorer, Olshansky. Olshansky back to Wall. Well but thought. Schmelzer was off sides and she's not too happy about it. That was a close play. It could have been, it was a 50 50 play. It could have been offside, but it also couldn't have been offside. It's a game of inches, Joe. Game of inches, yes. Can't say it enough. Schmelzer to Cho. As time will tick down, and we will be going into period number two with a one to nothing lead for the Plattsburgh Cardinals. Joe, how did you how do you think that, that first period went for both the, the Cardinals and for the Ruse? I'll start with Canton. Canton has a lot to work on this period because my goodness, it was all Cardinals. 16 shots to seven for Canton. Cardinals just keep pushing forward, keep doing what they've been doing for the past period. Lead it into the second and into the third, and I think they'll be fine. But the only thing in their way, Serena Alvarez, and she's been very good making 15 saves on 16 shots. A lot to like from her perspective. Yeah, and she's made a lot of fantastic saves, but I have to agree with you. It just looks like Plattsburgh came out playing a lot faster, looking like they wanted it a lot more. And you'd think the Ruse would want some type of redemption after losing twice. You would expect, and the momentum has not been on their side. Alvarez, in my eyes, is the only person on this team that's been ready and uh, willing to keep the, this Canton team in the game. Yep, but we do have Jeff Koff down on the sideline. Not quite sure who it's with. I think it's the goal scorer, Olshansky, so we'll send it down to her. All right, I'm down here on the sidelines with May Olshansky. May, you scored that goal. How'd it feel? It felt really good. Obviously, it's senior night, so we want to win this game for them. I think overall, we played a good period. We had 16 shots, so yeah, overall, we're playing pretty good. Now, 16 shots on goal to seven. How important is the defense for this game to win, considering it's only one nothing? I think defense is always the key for us to win games, and I think overall we're doing a pretty good job, not really giving them any quality chances. Moving forward, what's the game plan to try and maximize the efficiency in the Kangaroos zone? I think just try to get as many shots on net as possible and really test this goalie. She's a great goalie down there, so I think the more shots we get, the better we're going to be. All right, thank you very much. All right, back to you guys in the booth. And what a phenomenal period if you're a Cardinals fan. Not so much if you're a fan of the Canton Ruse, but there's a lot of hockey left, Joe. Yes, 40 more minutes of hockey, but you'd have to expect the coaching staff on this Canton team and some of the leaders in the locker room to kind of step up and say, hey, we really need to play better because it's been all cards so, so far through 20 minutes. Yeah, about 15 minutes until we start the second period. We're going to send it back to Eli and Pat in the studio, see what their take is. Welcome back. It's the end of the first period. Plattsburgh up by one. Pat, let's recap this period. 
Eli, that was all Cardinals that period. It felt like they were in the can zone for 20 minutes. I mean, Ashley Davis faced, what, three shots? Sierra Alvarez faced 13, 14 plus. She played really well. She was really sharp, Sierra Alvarez. But it was Mayo Shansky who got the puck in front on the backhand, roofed it over her when she was on the ground, and gave the Cardinals a one nothing lead. Well, <laughs> it took a while. The first period, I'll say it wasn't really as dramatic as last night's um, first period. Of course, the Cardinals taking a one to nothing lead in the first, and shots on goal. It's a 16 to seven differential right now. Plasburg, of course, with the 16 shots on goal. What do you really think of this offense right now? And they were buzzing. They were everywhere all the period. Um, just couldn't score, obviously, enough. Sierra Alvarez just is keeping the Kangaroos in the game right now. But uh, they were they were buzzing, really. I thought Julia Masada looked really good. I thought she was going to score a couple goals that period. I think if she keeps playing like that, she'll have a couple by the end of the game. And overall, both goalies with a high save percentage. Of course, Ashley Davis, she's still holding her ground right now, holding a 1.0 saving percentage against Serena Alvarez. Right now, she's coming into the second period. The Cardinals, what's their mindset right now? More of that, just obviously execute, maybe get another couple goals. But uh, for Ken, I think I like what Joe said. Uh, their coaching staff needs to wake these, these girls up, and they, they did not play great that period. But these are big games for them. They're still fighting for the playoff spot against Potsdam, so they got to wake up and be a little better these next 40 minutes. And that is true. Right now, the Cardinals, it took them a while. It took them to the 16-24, really, period to get a goal. And, you know, I give it. They had a little bit, you know, they had some rest. I can give Cortland was, you know, a little bit of a competition for them. But coming into the second period, the Cardinals really have to produce offensively. And defensively, they're amazing. Offensively, they have to wake up. That's the same thing for Canton yeah, as here, well. Yeah, here we go, Eli. We got the first goal here. Shot on goal, saved by Alvarez. The rebound pops back out. Olshensky, rebound, backhand, top shelf, giving Plattsburgh a one nothing lead. Really nice there. That, that's what the Cardinals do a lot, Eli. They, they get shots on net, they crash in net, pick up the rebounds. It's hard for defenses to stop them. No, that's true. Especially, that goal looked amazing. That, look, that goal looked like an NHL <laughs> trick stuff. That looked like a highlight to be on the Sports Center right now. Um, first period, it was kind of, you know, slow. But they produced one goal out of it. Coming into the second period, we're going to have to come out hot of the gate. Uh, that's all I really have to say is the Cardinals have to come out hot. It's really, if you want to prove a point or if you really want to make senior night as more exciting as last night, then just come out out of that gate, start scoring, and you'll be good the rest of the way. Yeah, for sure. They're playing really well. The process is there, but the results will show up, I think. I think they just stay diligent, stick with the game plan for sure. One thing that I enjoyed, not that many penalties the first period. No. Not that a lot many. of even strength play. Yeah, no teams have hit the box yet. No penalties have been given. But overall, it's the first period and many more to come. Uh, well, we'll be back with second period preview after these short messages. <laughs> My new movie, Aaron Judge, The Musical. The titular character will be played by none other than Zendaya. Fight. All right. Come on. And I'm Joe Mason. Our top story tonight. Have you ever had a main character moment? I mean, when you first step in front of the camera. I mean, when you ace that exam. When you publish your first novel. When you take that shot. When the moment is yours. Club International has been of great help to me as an international student because it has allowed me to be introduced to new people from different cultures. Representation matters and we know how to show it right because at every festival we make sure not only to include representation of one, but that of many different countries. And that is why I am proud to be a part of Club International. Club International!
that's Unsworth on the breakaway here, trying to score, and scores! And is seeking their eighth national championship. I'm here with the Cardinals starting center and one of the stars of the game today. Yeah, not a, not a good look. The judges and I have been deliberating. 30s, high of 36. PS News' Jeff Koff looks at one challenge facing renters. To me, the gym means discipline. The gym for me is part of who I am. The gym is time to myself. The gym to me is a place where I can come and clear my mind. Find out what the gym means to you. The SUNY Plattsburgh Gym at Memorial Hall has the perfect facilities for your fitness needs. From lifting rooms to basketball courts, if you're looking to have a good time or trying to get a workout in, visit Memorial Gym. This is Kinks, which stands for Collectively Inspiring Not Your Hair Students. to promote people to embrace their natural hair and just love who they are. Um, every spring semester we have a hair show, so if you're interested in modeling, hairstylists, and a makeup artist, um, this is something to look forward to every spring. Hello, my name is John Lynch. I'm the president of the school's animation club. While other colleges' animation clubs strive to only show just straight anime, our club tries to do something different as we show a variety of things such as Western animation, Eastern animation, internet animation, films, and so much more. If you want to meet people who have like-minded taste in animation, then feel free to come on down to our club. Botany Club is a group of students who enjoy learning about and experiencing the natural world, especially plants, through various activities, trips, and service projects. If you're interested in joining Botany Club, please join us at Hudson Hall on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. And for more information, reach out to us on Instagram at Botanical Society Katie Flats. Hope to see you there. new movie, Aaron Judge, The Musical. The titular character will be played by none other than Zendaya. Fight! All right. Come on. And I'm Joe Mason. Our top story tonight. Dance Corps makes me feel confident. Dance Corps means to me family. Dance Corps is motivating. Dance Corps means new friends. Dance Corps means old friends. Dance Corps means unity. Dance Corps means creativity. Dance Corps means love. Dance Corps is fun. Dance Corps means friendship. Dance Corps is exciting. Dance Corps is my support system. Dance Corps is my favorite thing. Welcome back. 
with some second period preview. Pat, what do we got? More of that, Eli. More of what they did in the first period. They were buzzing. They were everywhere, all over the Kangaroos. Uh, just more of that. Just score a couple goals. Execute a little better. It's going to be hard to get around Sierra Alvarez. She's playing really well, but just keep hitting you know her what? with shots. And you know what? I'm good. tired of this. If Sarah Crossneck does not get a goal, I will put these AirPods into this mug. I'm, I, I need Crossneck to get a goal this period. I'm, that's my prediction for this period. It's Crossneck like getting it. a goal. If not, the third period, you're going to see these AirPods go in this mug. I'm telling you. And there's something in here, too. I'm not telling you what, but there's something in here. There's coffee in here. I haven't drunk it yet. But any of who of our, you know, shenanigans down here in the studio, let's head back to the arena where we got Bruce and Joe waiting for us for more. Welcome back, everybody, to the second period of action here at the Ronald B. Stafford Arena, better known as the Fieldhouse. Joe Mason. What's up? How you feeling? Feeling great, lest we forget about fan of the game. Here she is, Anna Calabrese. She's in the house. She's excited. She's ready to rock. And she's ready to support these Plattsburgh Cardinals, even though she's a new Paul talk. Huh, that's interesting. <laughs> so. We take support from Oh, there she is. She's on. She's on there. Yeah, we got Big smiling face. She's behind so us. Watch it. Awesome. Yeah. So, thank you for being here. We appreciate the love and support for our Cardinals. Okay, all right, all right, thanks. Woo! <laughs> all right. I'll see you later. Now, second period of action. Yes. Joe, what are we looking at? What do you think is going to be, what do you think is going to come from these locker room talks? A lot from Canton, not a lot from Plattsburgh. That's what I will say. Plattsburgh, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep the offensive pressure. You haven't had to play much defense because they haven't had much zone time. So just keep doing what you're doing. And Canton, more offense. Play better. Make better passes. The little things. Make the little things matter. And that's really what that's really what I have to say about it. Alvarez has been good. The other the rest of the team, not so much. Yeah, I really think they just gotta they have to start finding those passes, taking time to possess the puck. That'll get them more time into the offensive zone. Because it just at this point it's just looking like one player is trying to skate it out to the neutral zone, throw it in, and change. And then Plattsburgh gets the possession back, heads right back down. Exactly. And I spoke with Serena Alvarez and Desiree Snook on the SUNY Canton ruse. And Alvarez says they need to score, they need to get pucks to the net and keep up their good defense. There's been a lack of defense this entire game, and they haven't gotten pucks to the net. So they should probably take their own advice. <laughs> I agree, Joe. Puck drop seconds away. Masoda staring down Desiree Snook. My apologies, that's Grayson Emerton. And it's one. No, it was Snook. There we see, I'm right. And now Cho circling around, pass over to Benjamin. Benjamin looks for Masoda. Masoda finds Borek. Borek cross ice to Krosnick. Krosnick looks for a quick shot, gloved by Alvarez, and held on to only 16 seconds into the second period. Yeah, and the Cardinals picking up right where they left off, getting another shot on net 15 seconds in. Yeah, so I guess the, 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 the board is correct. It was 16 shots for Plattsburgh, seven for Canton in that first period. It certainly didn't seem that way. Not Seems like it was all Plattsburgh. I do agree. Now Benjamin, now Masoda. Masoda over to Boric. Boric circles around, looks to Krosnick. Krosnick rifles one. And Alvarez equal to the task. And Desiree Snook, one of the better players on this Canton Kangaroos team. A lot to be happy about in her end. She's been playing very good on this team. And she said they have a positive attitude going in. They need to stick to their systems, get shots and quality chances on net. It's yet to be seen in this game, Bruce. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's a great centering pass. Olshansky looking for a second one, tried for a little razzle-dazzle on it, but it's cleared out of the zone. Picked up now by Leighton. Met by Cho. Cho tries to clear, falls as far as Garufalo, and it's gloved by Ashley Davis. I really like that name, Garufalo. Garufalo? Or Garofalo. Garofalo. Run that by me one more time, Bruce. I couldn't hear you the first couple. Gar Garofalo. Garofalo. Sandrine Garofalo. I feel really bad if she watches this back and I'm pronouncing that wrong. 
Sandrine Garofalo. Winnipeg, Manitoba, Lindenil. Now, back on defense with Panko. Panko looks cross ice, met by Norin, over to Unsworth. Unsworth tries to clear the zone, but it's held in by Hansen. And sticked at the net by Barnes, and it's gloved by Ashley Davis. Been a heck of a game so far, Bruce, and this second period has just been a continuation. If you're a Cardinals fan or a Cardinals player, there has to be a lot to like. You're getting shots on net, the other team not doing nearly as much. Yeah, they're playing very strong and aggressive hockey, but the Ruse have started to pick it up a little bit. Uh, it's it's only like a minute into the game, so. Time will tell. Yep, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see more about that. But they do contain the zone, and it's swinging around where it'll be picked up by Norton. Looking for Stum, taken away by McGarity. Cleared in, picked up by Norton. Norton looks behind the net, able to link up with Balfour. Balfour back to Norton, Norton back to Balfour. Playing a two-woman game here, up to Calhoun. Calhoun looks for Schmelzer, who stepped on the puck, I believe. And it's cleared into the defensive zone of the Ruse and picked up by O'Keefe. Looks forward for McGarity, dumped in, picked up by Balfour. Challenged now by DeToro. And the Cardinals looking to move into the offensive zone. Gets met by Young. It's held in, however, by Balfour. Gets poked away. Yarkovsky spins one. Has two ruse fighting with her, and it comes out to Labor. Now, that's McGarity, who circles. Gets met by Riggy. It only falls far as Orr. Orr looks for the shot. It's a save by Alvarez. And the Ruse able to clear as it's picked up by DeToro. It's another shot at net. Saved away by Alvarez. The Ruse collect. Looking to clear the zone. It's held in. And then Riggy chips it forward. Finally able to clear it into the neutral zone. And we have a whistle for... I'm not quite sure what the whistle was for. It is a penalty. Coming against Scarlett DeToro from Unionville, PA. We'll be going to the box for two minutes or less. Didn't quite see what it was for, but the Cardinals have the first power play of the game, Joe. Yes, they do, and they can build on that lead. They've been good on the power play so far this season. 37%, 27 for 73. So, a very good power play. A well-oiled machine, if you will. That's what you'd like to hear if you're a Cardinal fan. Already have the one nothing lead, looking to make it two. Masoda now circling, finds Balfour. Back to Wozik. It was a high sticking call that went against DeToro. Uh, Masoda with a fight for it. And it's cleared out of the zone by Michaela Young. Collected by Ashley Davis, who will swing it around her net. Chase down again. It's Clement. It'll pop only as far as Masoda. Masora. Masoda. Now it's Wall getting into the offensive zone, dropping off for Unsworth. Unsworth circling around the runette. Cuts it back, looks in front. Great lift of the stick by a Rue defender. Now Wazik fires one on that, takes a deflection, and that goes high. Now Wall. Circling, finds Masoda. Masoda looks back for Wazik. Wazik over to Balfour. Balfour looking, finds Wazik. Wazik back to Balfour. Balfour rips a shot. That takes a deflection, hits the top of the net. And there'll be a high sticking call against one of our two teams. I guess it wasn't the same high sticking as. The high sticking that got DeToro in trouble. Played with a high stick, Bruce. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No penalty on the play. It just played with a high, high stick. other high sticking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hockey's a confusing game. Yeah, good, good day. Good deal. Now Benjamin gets tied up in her skates. Picked up by McGarity. Fight in the corner. Krosnick possesses. Skates into the offensive zone. Circles. Finds Norton, Norton, finds Benjamin, Benjamin. 
circles, looks, shoots one, and that finds the back of the net. Sierra Benjamin. That's 2 nothing in favor of the Plattsburgh Cardinals. Oh, it was a tip-in, actually, I believe, from Krosnick that allowed for that one to find the back of the net, Joe. Yeah, and Krosnick, I remember the last game you and I did, she, you were talking about Krosnick with the tips in front. Here it is on display. Cardinals have a 2 nothing lead. Yeah, I was wondering why uh, Sierra Benjamin wasn't the initial celebrator. And right, now right. I realize that it was Sarah Krosnick able to get the tip and find the back of the net. And it's a power play goal for the Cardinals, and they'll go up 2 0. 14th goal of the season for Crossneck, 56th of her career on senior night. Yeah, she leads the way in points and goals for the Plattsburgh Cardinals. Yeah, Benjamin slings it around, collected by Cho, met in the corner by the lawn. Yeah. There's a delayed penalty to ensue. And that's coming against the Cardinals. Looks like Lily Stum, I believe, will be going to the box for elbowing, uh, hooking. I can't read the ref's mouth. But Lily Stum going to the box, and it'll be a power play for the Kangaroos. Yeah, the Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania native. And they need this power play. They need to score on this power play. They've had no momentum in this entire game, and they need to score. They really do. Yeah, give them something to keep working for because a two-goal lead is the worst goal lead in sports, Joe. Oh, absolutely. We saw that last night. Exactly. Two goals by the Cards and two goals by the Potsdam Bears. Yep, it was elbowing. I knew what I was talking about. Now, Leighton. Circles, pass over, slap shot, saved by Davis, and great hold. As that was a rifle coming in from Tilly Couture. That it was, and looking to the power play for these Canton Roos, 15%, percent 9 for 62 They'd obviously wish to have a better power play. But you have to keep out for these Plattsburgh Cardinals. Penalty kill, 90%, 55 for 61. Shorthanded goals, two. That's absolutely insane. Something you like to see if you're a Plattsburgh fan as that one gets cleared out by Kendall Wozik. Now Alvarez, too possessed, picked up by Couture, put behind the net. No ruse, know where the puck is, but it will be collected in their corner and skated up by Leighton. Leighton looks forward for McGarity. McGarity, met by Masoda and cleared out by Wozik, held in the zone by Leighton, and then Masoda able to chip that one away. Now Couture circles, looks for Leighton, and picked off by Calhoun. Calhoun. Now behind the net, Leighton Masoda gets tied up. Schmelzer able to possess. Offensive pressure coming with a four on five, Joe. Shorthanded, two shorthanded goals for the Cardinals. They're not afraid. They're looking for another one. As it's picked up now by Wozik, over to Benjamin, back to Wozik. Looks forward for Masoto, tips it in for Schmelzer. He'll be met in the corner by Couture. She outskates her, comes around to Benjamin, back to Schmelzer. Now Couture meets with Wall. The Ruse struggling to clear their own zone. Now Leighton able to skate this one away and tipped away by Wall. Wozik slings that one around the boards, and it's a foot race. Krosnick and O'Keefe, Krosnick wins that. Looks for the wraparound, great stick by Alvarez, and the Rue is able to take possession. This power play is over, Joe, and it looked like the, the Cardinals had more possession on the penalty kill than the Ruse did on the power play. Yeah, not a very satisfying power play if you're a Ruse fan or a Ruse player or somebody in the surrounding town. More momentum for the Cards. Now Unsworth circles around, looking for someone in front. Finds Krosnick, Krosnick drops it to Norton. Norton pops it into the corner where Wall will collect. It falls to Unsworth. Now Wall in a fight with Labor. Puts it in front, Unsworth can't find the back of the net. Alvarez keeping this Ruse team in it. Now Balfour with a shot, Alvarez with a glove, and a hold. And as I said, Canton was the only offer for Serena Alvarez, 
but she found what she was looking for at Canton, a smaller school, a tighter support community, a rink on campus to develop her skills and succeed as a player, and she has. She's had a very good season for this team that obviously hasn't been great on offense, at least so far through this game. She's proved herself in the net, however, holding her team to a lot of positive factors on the defensive zone. Now circling around, takes a deflection out and all the way out of the zone where it will be collected by Pankel. Pankel looks forward, but it's picked up by the Cardinals. Now Orr in a scuffle in the corner, falls to Balfour, over to Norin. Norin looks forward, finds Riggy. Now Yarkowski did not see Riggy, and that will go back to the neutral zone for a faceoff after an offside. And I talked to Riley Calhoun as well, Bruce, and she told me to start out the period, they need to come out hard in the first period and score a few quick goals. And they've done just that. They've had offensive pressure. Can't ask for more as a Cards fan or a player. Exactly, or anyone in the surrounding town. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Now Schmelzer finds Calhoun back to Schmelzer to Orr. Uh, pardon me, that's Cho to Benjamin. In the corner now, a little scuffle. One by Morris to Calhoun. Looks for Schmelzer, can't find her, but maintains possession. Circles around, looks behind the net for Morris. It'll be popped around as Benjamin's to chase. Met on the side boards. As Benjamin keeps it in the zone with Morris. It's taken away by Barnes. Barnes now skates it forward, looking to possess, dump it into the zone, but Benjamin with a good stick, able to keep it from going to the corner. Now Krosnick, fighting in the corner with Garufalo. Back to Benjamin. Benjamin winds up, fires just wide. Now Morris to Masoda. Now we, uh, it's with Cho. Cho looks for a shot, that takes a deflection, hits the glass. Pops in front dangerously, but it'll go behind the net. Alvarez moved right across that net quick, seeing that puck glance off the glass and in front of the net. Great awareness by the Rue goaltender. Now Wozik looks to maintain possession. Krosnick puts one in front. That one skates past Alvarez, collected by Cho. Boric gets absolutely nailed from behind by Kira O'Keefe, and she'll be going to the box for what I could only assume is cross-checking or boarding or... All of the above. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Borg went down hard. That was not the nicest of checks, and you'd have to expect a little frustration caused that penalty because they haven't, meaning the Canton Ruse, haven't been able to really have any offensive pressure so far in this game. We're halfway through the second period. Yeah, so Plattsburgh back on a power play for two minutes or less. Let's see what comes from it. As we saw how good their penalty kill was. Uh, after seeing that, I'd be kind of scared to see what their power play is looking like. Didn't they score a power play goal earlier in the game, Bruce? Was that a power yeah, play it, goal? It, yeah, that's that was scary. Yeah, yeah. Benjamin and cross neck in front, yeah. Yep, it was boarding. Yep. We have another delayed penalty coming now. It's gonna be a six on four. Ashley Davis heads to the bench, get an extra scare. Cross, Krosnick can't find the back of the net. Still buying time on this power play. Six on four, Balfour to Wozik. Wozik over to Krosnick. Krosnick over to Balfour. Balfour looks for a shot, rifle saved by Alvarez. And we're going to find out what this penalty is because it's going to be five on three. It's a high sticking call coming against the Ruse. Asha That's Hansen. That's Asha Hansen, yes, sir. The Calgary Alberta native. Yeah, she played for AAA Calgary Fire. Well, Calgary Fire AAA. Freshman. That's... Wasn't the greatest move by the freshman. No. As now the Cardinals, who have been absolutely dominating this game, are finding themselves in a five on three in favor of them. Benjamin Krosnick, Norton, Norton saved by Alvarez. Benjamin to Norton, back to Benjamin. 
Circles around, looks for the shot, rifles blockered away by Alvarez. Now Boric collects to Norton. Norton to Benjamin. Benjamin to Norton. Back to Benjamin. To Krosnick, tipped away, but able to be collected. Now Benjamin. Rifles in front. And that's another great save by Alvarez and picked up by Benjamin to Norton to Benjamin to Norton. Norton fires. And that's covered as Olshansky gets popped in the face. A little rough stuff in front there, Bruce. Yeah, this has been... Tensions are flying here, Joe. Yeah, frustration from the Canton Ruse coming out, boiling over, if you will. Yeah. Plattsburgh has just been so dominant. Now they have a five on three for the next 18 seconds, and then a power play after that if they don't score. I'd be frustrated, too. Yeah, you can't blame them. Now Wazik to Balfour. Balfour to Wazik. Back to Balfour. Balfour to Wazik. Wazik looks for the shot, and it's kicked out. And that's going to kill off one of the penalties. And we're going to go back to a five on four. Great work defensively by the Ruse. Still 49 seconds and counting, however, that they need to kill off. Dropped off to Unsworth. Unsworth skates, finds Balfour. Balfour to Wazik. Wazik has room to shoot, but a lay it off for Masoda. Masoda circles, dumps into the corner, picked up by Unsworth. Unsworth. Skates around, finds an opening, dangles one over to Masoda, and a save by Alvarez. Now, Serena Alvarez. Front. Wow. Cleared down the ice by Hannah Clement, and that's going to kill more time off this uh, penalty. We got 10 seconds remaining, and a five on three killed to a five on four, and back to even strength in five seconds. Well done by the Can Roos. Serena Alvarez, as I've heard, listening to com hockey commentary for many, many years. Your goaltender has to be your best penalty killer, and she was. That was a lot, there was a lot of dangerous chances for the cards, and Alvarez said no to every single one of them. Dumped in by Layden and picked up by Benjamin, swung around to Wozik. I feel like Wozik's been on the ice for like five minutes now. <laughs> has she gotten off? Yeah, I don't know. This man. whole period? <laughs> Now McKinnon fight for it, picked up by McCarity. Now popped across the ice. Schmelzer trying to use her wheels. Met at the boards by Garupolo. Now Benjamin dumps it into the zone. And that'll go for icing. She wasn't across the red zone, the red line yet. And that you were thinking to uh, Super Bowl, huh, Bruce? Red zone? Yeah. Super Bowl just around the corner? Yeah, I mean, hey, tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. That's just where I'm going to be. Hours away. Exactly. Thoughts, thoughts on the Super Bowl? You got a Don't pick? get me started. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll be, we'll be here all night, Joe. <laughs> we do have a hockey game to commentate. Is Bruce. that Wazik again? <laughs> Certainly looks like it from this vantage point. Oh, there she goes. She's off now. Is it dumped into the zone and it's picked up by Panko? After several minutes on the ice, Wazik is finally off. Club down by Riggy. Three on one. She has options. She tries to find Orr. It's deflected away. Alvarez was confused, but it's able to be dropped back to Benjamin. Now Riggy fighting with Riggy. Circles. Looks for Orr. Falls to Cho. Cho now. Looks to put it into the corner. Met by Desiree Snook. Only comes as far as Benjamin. Now Riggy. Chase down. Looks for a shot. That's off the side of the net. Collected by the Ruse. Skating down the ice. Panko looks for a pass forward. Dumps it in. Cho being chased down and harassed by Mikkelveen. Now Masoda. Cross ice. Or dumps it in. Goes off for a change. Collected in the defensive zone by Couture. Now Couture picks it up ice herself. Looking for something. Can't find it as Couture, no, Benjamin will be going to the box for Plattsburgh. Some That's chirping going on there, Bruce, between Couture and Benjamin. Not quite sure what that was for. 
I'm not going to jump to conclusions this time because it's always my second guess that's the right one. And I don't have a second guess right now. So I'll say it once. I'll say it again. Another great opportunity for the Rouge to get one on the board. They have had little to no offensive pressure. They need to score here. But on them, you got to remember on their last power play, it looked like the penalty kill was working better for the Cardinals than the power play was working for the Ruse, and that's covered by Ashley Davis. Great opportunity in front. Unable to capitalize was Hannah Clement. Their best chance all game. It's been two periods of play. and This period's almost over. Yeah, it's it's been all Cardinals, but give credit where credit is due. Great chance by the Ruse. Exactly. Puck ball back to Couture. Couture pass across to Leighton. Back to Couture. Over into the corner, looks for a shot, and she's able to thread the needle. That one finds the back of the net. What a phenomenal shot. I believe that was Danica Lalonde Best on the power on this team. play. Ashley Davis had everything but the top right corner, and Lalonde was able to slot that one home and cut the deficit in half, Joe. She has been the most dominant player on this Ruse team so far. Nine goals, now make it 10. 10 goals, 12 assists, 22 points on the season. She's carried the team as well as Alvarez. Now, two to one, still in favor of the Cardinals, but great momentum if you're a Kangaroo fan, player, or somebody in the surrounding area. Now, Balfour. Off the boards, finds Krosnick. Krosnick looks to put one in front, tipped away, and picked up. That's O'Keefe, tries to get it forward. Taken away, Masoda with it. Skirmish in front of the net. And that's picked up by the Ruse. Young dumps it in. Only as far as Cho, chased down and harassed. Dumped back into the zone. Now it's Cho. Looks off the boards for Boric. Boric facing Panko. Looks for some teammates. Looks cross ice. Can't quite find Masoda. Now Krosnick to Masoda. Taken away by Hansen. Krosnick finds Cho. Now Cho looks for the shot. And it's kicked away by Couture. Now Buck finds Snook. Takes it in herself. Tries to backhand. Goes off for a change. Picked up by Balfour. Now, up to Boric. Boric's got time and space in front of her. Looks cross ice, finds Krosnick. Tries to drop it to Wall, but the lifted stick and the Ruse able to break that play down. Now behind the net, Couture. Looks forward, taken away. Possession with Wall, Wall. Met by two Ruse. But she's able to maintain possession. Looks in front of the net, falls to Unsworth. She can't find a good handle, but she'll have it behind the net. Looks back to Wozik, holds the zone, slap shot fires, hits a defender, pops to the corner. Met there now, picked up. Unfortunately lost contact with and kept in the zone for Plattsburgh. Wall fighting on three of them. She wins that fight. Unsworth takes it in, looks for the razzle dazzle dingle, and Unsworth finds the back of the net. Alvarez made the initial kick save. But Unsworth, Nicole Unsworth, able to slot that one home, giving the Cardinals their two goal lead. Yeah, one of the seniors we're highlighting this afternoon, the Milwaukee, Wisconsin native, 13th goal of the season, 60th goal of her career. So major props to her, getting the Cardinals back up by two. That one is popped up into the netting. That was a phenomenal goal by Unsworth. Solo play, take it from three ruse, take it around. Kick saved by Alvarez. That ain't mean nothing to her. I'm surprised you didn't have a comment for my uh, razzle dazzle dingle. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to <laughs> adjust. I'm trying to Put my filter on, if you will, Bruce. See, when a goal's scored, you just gotta say whatever comes to your lips, and that's what came to mind. Fair enough. Now Schmelzer takes it up ice, uses her speed, can't get past the Bruce defense. Stum chips it behind the net, picked up by O'Keefe. O'Keefe looks forward, finds Barnes. 
Only as far as Benjamin who holds the zone. Now Krosnick wins the race behind the net. Circles around, looking for a teammate. Finds Norton over to Benjamin. Back to Norton. Looking for space, looks for a shot. Masota tried the tip, just goes wide, picked up by Barnes. Barnes looks up ice, gets a tip from Clement, and, but that will go down for icing, and we'll head back down to the Ruse zone for a faceoff. Big goal for Plattsburgh. Huge. Tie game, er, excuse me, that was not a tie game. <laughs> One goal lead, now a two goal lead. One of the seniors providing once again for this Plattsburgh team, Nicole Unsworth. Now Benjamin looks to get someone in front for the tip. And that's falling, that's chipping around, but Alvarez able to keep it out. Now Barnes able to take possession, picked up by McGarity. Left at the blue line by Masota. She's alone, tries a shot, blockered down, and then kicked away by Young. Fight for the puck. Balls to Norton, Norton looks for the shot. It's kick saved by Alvarez. And cleared down the ice by Barnes where it will inevitably go for an icing. Just over a minute remaining, Bruce. Lots to like for the Plattsburgh Cardinals. Canton had a glimmer of hope there for a second or two with that goal, had a little momentum, but the Cardinals went back to business right after that. Exactly re-establish their two goal lead. Not even two minutes after it was taken from them. Very quick, very quick response. And if you're a Cardinals fan or a member of the community, you got a smile on your face. Exactly. Now Benjamin off the boards to Yarkovsky. Back to Benjamin, cross ice. And we have Yarkovsky. A shot from Benjamin, glove down by Alvarez. 42 seconds remaining in the second period. Three to one score here at the Fieldhouse in favor of the Plattsburgh Cardinals over the Canton Kangaroos. It's been a good game so far, Bruce. 42 seconds left, a lot of action, some penalties. Karkowski looked in front fun. of the net for or or couldn't find it. Didn't mean to cut you off there. That was a, just no, big chance. Big a chance. monumental opportunity. <laughs> Skirmish in the corner. Time ticks away. Two ruse, two cards. They're holding it up. Now it falls to Riggy, to Yarkovsky. She pops one towards the net. And with 13.8 remaining, Alvarez will hold. Desiree Snook. Talked to her this week, had a positive pleasure. attitude going in. But have the Ruse haven't really been able to get any real chances outside of the power play on net. It's a very unfortunate thing to hear. They're playing. They're not playing bad, Joe. I think if they just try to maintain possession more, it'll allow for them to generate more opportunities. Sure, sure. As this second period does come to a close. Plattsburgh State Cardinals lead the SUNY Canton Ruse three to one in shots in favor of the Cardinals, 37 to 14. That's a pretty big shot gap. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's huge. And it shows on the ice and on the scoreboard, three one lead, but the Ruse had a little glimpse of momentum there, but Cardinals got back to business as we said. Yeah, and Ruse did pick up from the first period, I, I, I personally would like to say. Yes. But they're definitely going to have to find more opportunities, more possession, if they're going to want to be able to come back from this deficit. And I will say this. If the Ruse come back and tie this game or even win the game, Serena Alvarez is their number one star. She's made some huge saves. She's let in three. That's fine. But she stopped 35 pucks in the last two periods. And apparently our friend... Jeffrey Koff has Nicole Unsworth with him right now. Hey, I'm down here with Nicole Unsworth. Nicole, you scored a goal that period. How important is it to get out to a lead here on senior night and honor those seniors? Um, yeah, it's a pretty big, uh, especially a league play game. Uh, just got to keep working hard, and it was a good goal that we got. We're able to get up by two going into the third. 
Now, you've had some pretty big goals in your career here, but how does it compare to be able to be here on senior night in front of these, in front of this crowd, heading to the playoffs to get your team going like that? Um, it's definitely nice uh, being at home with uh, all my teammates and just coming out. <laughs> and last question, what's the plan moving forward for the third period? You guys going to continue that attack? Yeah, we're definitely going to come out just uh, working hard and keep the pressure on them and not let up and don't let them get any energy. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. All right, sending it back up to the booth with Joe and Bruce. Guys? Well, third period ensuing. Phenomenal second period if you're a Cardinals fan. Good bit of momentum if you're a Ruse fan. But we're going to send it back to Eli and Pat. Let's hear their input on the game. Welcome back. As we end the second period, Plasburg putting two more insurance go onto their lead. Even though Canton came back, tried to, you know, cut the deficit, Plasburg respond in a good way. Yeah, Eli, a lot of power plays that uh, period. Five penalties taken after we saw none in the first period. So things got a little rowdy, a little undisciplined. But, uh, yeah, the, the power plays were huge. Sierra Benjamin scored for uh, Plattsburgh, the second goal on the extra man advantage. And then she went to the box, and Canton struck back with their own goal. So it made it 2-1. But it was Nicole Unsworth who ended up getting that lead back to two in front of the net. A nice move and beat Alvarez. Unsworth right now, she's really – she is – Really popping off right now. Two goals, I think, is right now she One. has. One goal. Points two. Um, Plasberg right now. Goals three to one as we go into – as we end the second period. Shots on goal. Plasberg leading 38 to 13, meaning Plasberg right now has been, been getting a lot of opportunities. Yeah, and here's a goal by Sierra Benjamin on the power play. Taking it up top. The shot from the point finds its way through. Nice shot there. And gave uh, Plattsburgh a 2 nothing lead on the power play there. Mm -hmm. Got to stay out of the box. That, that's the b a big thing. That goal was amazing. That goal looked beautiful. If we can get the third goal up as well, that thing, that was Unsworth getting her first goal, second? First of the game, yeah. First second point. Game. She's looked really good as well. First a lot of, of the players game. for Plattsburgh have looked well, but uh, Ciara uh, Alvarez is keeping them in the game for sure. Really? Alvarez she faced is... 38 shots, made 35 saves. So she's played really well. This game could be... Way uh, way more ugly if she wasn't playing that well. Right now, Alvarez is really playing her A game right now, trying to keep Plattsburgh, you know, at a catch-up distance for Canton. And, you know, Ashley Davis, you have to give her a shout-out as well. To keep Canton down, you know, down by two, it's, it's really a, it's her game as well, especially as a senior as well. She's really trying to impress – She's trying to make a statement as for her final game here. Yeah, absolutely. Sierra Benjamin Sr. has a goal tonight. Nicole Unsworth has a goal. Ashley Davis played well. It hasn't faced a lot of shots, but it, it, it's hard in time. As a goalie, not facing a lot of shots, because you might be a little rusty. You don't get into a groove. You don't ease in there. But it might be a little difficult to face a small amount of shots. But she's played well. Let she, that one go off on the power play. But besides that. She has really played well, especially against a team that's been trying to fight for it. They're trying to fight for a playoff spot. And... You know, Kent has been playing their best. They've been playing their hardest. But offensively, it hasn't been proving. Defensively, yeah. But Kent, you know, they have to wake up offensively. Yeah, you can see them getting a little more desperate here. Um, obviously, only 20 minutes left down, too, fighting for that playoff spot. So we'll see. But before we come back, we'll go to some breaks. So see you shortly. Club International has been of great help to me as an international student because it has allowed me to be introduced to new people from different cultures. Representation matters and we know how to show it right because at every festival we make sure not only to include representation of one but that of many different countries and that is why I am proud to be a part of Club International. Club International! Here, that's Unsworth on the breakaway here, trying to score, and scores! And is seeking their eighth national championship. I'm here with the Cardinals starting center and one of the stars of the game today. Yeah, not a, not a good look. The judges and I have been deliberating. 30s, high of 36. PS News' Jeff Kopp looks at one challenge facing renters. To me, the gym needs discipline. The gym 
for me is part of who I am. The gym is time to myself. The gym to me is a place where I can come and clear my mind. Find out what the gym means to you. The SUNY Plattsburgh Gym at Memorial Hall has the perfect facilities for your fitness needs. From lifting rooms to basketball courts, if you're looking to have a good time or trying to get a workout in, visit Memorial Gym. This is KINKS, which stands for Collectively Inspiring Natural Hair Students. to promote people to embrace their natural hair and let's just love who they are. Um, every spring semester we have a hair show so if you're interested in modeling, hairstylists and a makeup artist um, this is something to look forward to every spring. Hello my name is John Lynch I'm the president of the school's animation club. While other colleges animation clubs strive to only show just straight anime our club strives to do something different, as we show a variety of things such as Western animation, Eastern animation, internet animation, films, and so much more. If you want to meet people who have like-minded taste in animation, then feel free to come on down to our club. Botany Club is a group of students who enjoy learning about and experiencing the natural world, especially plants, through various activities, trips, and service projects. If you're interested in joining Botany Club, please join us at Hudson Hall on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. And for more information, reach out to us on Instagram at Botanical Society King Plants. Hope to see you there! new movie, Aaron Judge, The Musical. The titular character will be played by none other than Zendaya. Fight! All right. Come on. And I'm Joe Mason. Our top story tonight. Dance Core makes me feel confident. Dance Core means to me family. Dance Core is motivating. Dance Core means new friends. Dance Core means old friends. Dance Core means unity. Dance Core means creativity. Dance Core means love. Dance Core is fun. Dance Core means friendship. Dance Core is exciting. Dance Core is my support system. Dance Core is my favorite thing. new movie, Aaron Judge, The Musical. The titular character will be played by none other than Zendaya. Fight! All right. Come on. And I'm Joe Mason. Our top story tonight. The 
sport of jiu-jitsu is mainly for you can use it for self-defense that's the number one reason it appeals to people there's other people who come to this club for the competition aspect and also a lot of others who do it for the workout aspect it has multiple ways of appealing to different audiences and you should come give it a try you might like it is a great option for students just because one you get your late night option it's open you know all day during the day it appeals to so many different students it appeals to the vegetarians the vegans any student that's avoiding gluten with the sundowner being right in the ACC it's a great place for students to come meet their friends between classes whether they want to get a quick snack a drink um, and just hang out with each other and, and have a good time good atmosphere good music good people What am I looking at here? It's a spaceship. From where? From space? All right, people, let's hit these guys with some PSTV. <laughs> Did not work. Probably because it's a TV station and not a laser. My new movie, Aaron Judge, The Musical. The titular character will be played by none other than Zendaya. Fight! All right. Come on. And I'm Joe Mason. Our top story tonight. Welcome back <laughs> to your second period intermission report. We got a good one going on here, Eli. 3-1 Cardinals as they lead the Kangaroos. Going to the third period, but before we get into that, let's head over to the, the field house with Jeff Koff on what's happened so far. Thanks, guys. I'm here at ringside getting ready for the beginning of the third period. At the end of the period, I spoke to Nicole Unsworth. She said that they're gonna, the Cardinals are going to keep up their attack, keep doing what they do best, and putting up a lot of points on the board. Three already. We'll see how many they can get through in this third period. But on senior night, emotions have been running high. We've seen a lot of physicality from both teams, and the Cardinals especially, getting into the kangaroo zone and making their trips worth it. Overall, this game has been in favor of the Cardinals, but still close. We'll see if they can close it out in the third period or if the kangaroos could hop back into this game. All right, sending it back to the studio with Eli and Pat. Guys? Thanks, Jeff. Always a pleasure. Eli, big 20 minutes coming up here. Plattsburgh up 3-1. What do you think they need to do to retain their lead? Overall, Plattsburgh needs to just continue shooting. You know, they just need to continue shooting goals. At the end of the day, right now, third period, it's really you have a good patent up lead. You're up by two. Right now, your defense has to be on lockdown. Ashley Davis has to lock down that goal against Cannon. And, you know, Let's hope that the seniors can get a W tonight and really end it off in Buffalo. I hope so. I think they need, they need to stay out of the box. Just don't take any penalties. Uh, Can got their only goal in the power play. So stay out of the box, I think, and their chances might be really good. No, really. And right now, the third period is a period to prove. Can Canton come back against Plattsburgh? That's the question. Or can Plattsburgh really run off with this game? That's all I really want to know. Yeah, absolutely. Kane only has, what, 13 shots this game, and they haven't been able to do anything five on five. So, like I said, yeah. with the power play, they just need to stay out of the box. Well, as we wrap it up here in the studio, let's send it down to Bruce and Joe, who will be covering the third period. Welcome back, everybody, to the third period of action here at the Ronald B. Stafford Arena with the current score, 3-1 to one in favor of the Cardinals. Again, as always, I'm Bruce Juno. And my other voice, Joe Mason, here on the call tonight. Joe, what do you think is going to happen in the third period? It's an emotional game, Bruce, on both ends of the ice. Canton looking for redemption. Plattsburgh trying to put a big performance out for their seniors. 
I think if the first two periods are any indication of what the third is going to be like, Plattsburgh domination for yet another period. But I will say this. Rivers Morris, one of the forwards who's been on the ice, a junior, I may add, said in this game they need to crash the net, get pucks on net, and be ready to score and put everything out on the ice there for their seniors. And they've done that. And, and that. They've done just that tonight. <laughs> yeah, great words spoken by Rivers Morris. But puck drop here for the start of the third period at the Fieldhouse in Plattsburgh. Now Ken has possession. Throwing it into the zone. It'll be picked up by Krosnick. Swung across from Masoda. Gets the tip. Krosnick comes to collect, but popped out and taken by Snook. Now, pass forward for Masoda on the steal. Able to possess. It comes to Mikkelveen. Oh, pardon, that's O'Keefe. Met by Cho, picked up by Benjamin. Benjamin takes it herself for a two-on-one. She has Unsworth to her left. Olshansky to her right. Now Wall over to Unsworth. Unsworth circles, looking for support. Back to Wall. Wall leaves it in the corner for Olshansky. She's met by Hansen. Hansen in a tussle with Wall. Wall collects. Pass back. Norin over to Balfour, to Unsworth. Unsworth looking, blockered away by Alvarez. Puck in front of the net, Olshansky looking for a second, and a sick save and a beauty. Another big save for Serena Alvarez on this senior night here in Plattsburgh. Uh, Snook looking to pass it forward, but it's found out by Norin. Now kicking it up to herself. Clement to Chase, met by Schmelzer. Now Balfour in the corner, it's Schmelzer. Now Calhoun, hit into the boards by Couture, but picked up by Schmelzer, where she's met by. Behind the net, Stum, met by McGarity. Help coming for both sides, and Calhoun will collect. Looks in front of the net, only as far as Couture. Dumps it around the zone, met by Schmelzer, who puts it back into the corner, falls to Stum, looks in front of the net, and a great lifted stick by Panko. Now chased down into the zone by Morris. Morris on Norton, Norton wins the race, will find Orr. Kept in the zone by McGarity, but met by Riggy. Riggy's off to the races, can she get the angle? Gonna look in front of the net, circles around, looks for the dump in front, and a great save by Alvarez in the second one, as well as Orr was coming in hot. Alvarez equal to it. Ring 10 bells for that save, as the great Doc Emmerich would say. That was best opportunity of the period so far. Phenomenal play, and phenomenal saves by Alvarez as the Ruse are back in the Plattsburgh zone, and now the Cardinals are back in the Ruse zone. That's Panko. It forward, kept in the zone by Wozik. Jarkovsky picked up by Masoda. Masoda circles around, back to Wozik. Wozik sings one on net. Deflected by a defender. Pass around the net to Hansen. Hansen possesses, finds DeToro. Gets it taken and a shot from Thompson. Will be gloved down by Alvarez. Throughout all the emotions tonight, or this, this afternoon I should say, it's important to note that this is senior night and we need to highlight these seniors and Taya Balfour, or Taya Balfour, excuse me, was talking to me about these seniors tonight and said she want, as she, these seniors make her want to be a better player and she's been good as a freshman, very good. Absolutely phenomenal on both sides of the ice, a lot of help coming from the seniors, a shot after shot. Alvarez is getting peppered, equal to all of them. Wozik fans on it. Krosnick gets hit, and the Ruse are able to collect. Puck comes over. Mickelveen looks across, it's only as far as Boren. Met in the wall, Masoda. Gets it taken from her by Young. Now Labor, met by Lalonde. Lalonde circling. 
One on one with Masoto, looks in front. Taken away by Wozniak. Wozniak looks all the way across ice, but it hits off for it. Krausnick able to collect. Met by Couture and kept in the zone. Allows for Snook to chase. Snook on Wozniak, puck pops out. Wozniak up to Krausnick. Krausnick puts it across. It's a foot race. Olshansky and O'Keefe. O'Keefe wins that one. O'Keefe swings it around for Clement. Clement. Cross ice. Picked up by Barnes. Shot just wide. Now Wall. Spins, finds Benjamin. Benjamin up the ice. Only as far as O'Keefe. O'Keefe puts it back into the zone. Gloved down by Benjamin. Finds Olshansky. Olshansky. One on four. Has support. Looks for Wall. Able to pick it up. Back around to Olshansky. Olshansky looks in front of the net. Nobody there as McGarity tried to clear it away, but it was only as far as Wall. Now coming up ice are the Roos. Offensive pressure coming from Snook. Snook looks cross ice. Nobody there but Lily Stum, who will pick it up for the Cardinals. Tries to chip it around one, but it will not maintain the zone. And Cho able to collect. Now, Panko, no pardon. That's Garofalo. Unable to get the shot away. And puck comes to Orr, Bridget Orr. Having it in the Rue zone. Finds Calhoun, back to Orr. Orr tries to spin and shoot. It's kicked away by Emerton. Now Stump slings it around to Calhoun. Calhoun going at it with Emerton. Calhoun circling, but it's taken away with McKinnon. Now McKinnon. 2 to one for an easy save for, oh, that's Chloe Bobian in net. The I just senior. realized that. I noticed it a couple minutes ago. <laughs> you should have said something. I, I, <laughs> I wanted to wait for the right time, Bruce. Chloe Bobian, the senior making her appearance in net. I believe her second game of the season, if I'm not yes. mistaken. Second game of the season, 17th of her career. So or actually, she has to offer. 19th, excuse me. So for, can't get it past McElveen. She takes it into the corner, slings it around, looking for Lalonde. It's only as far as Yarkovsky. Picked up by Riggy, who circles, finds Balfour. Balfour has Morris, cross ice, one on one with Young. Slips it back behind the net. Picked up by Yarkovsky. Yarkovsky finds Thompson. Thompson fires one into traffic. It's kicked away and picked up by the Lawns. <laughs> Only as far as Wozik. Wozik circles. Looks for a teammate. Great stick in front of the net. It's another save by Alvarez. O'Keefe with the initial stick falling to Thompson. Alvarez equal to the second shot. She's faced 41 shots tonight, Bruce. She saved 41 shots. Saved four, nope. Oh, holy Excuse moly, me. she saved 46 shots. 46 shots. Cardinals have peppered her tonight and she's been equal to most. You can only save so money, so many. So money. So money, save some money. Now the Ruse circling. Krosnick loses her stick. Masoto with a shot. Alvarez makes the save. It's picked up by the Ruse. Only as far as Wozik. Can't find the connection she wanted. Now Boric swings it around the net where it's picked up by Clement. Clement fighting in the corner with Thompson and Wall. Able to be cleared of the zone by Hansen. Now Wozik fires one. And it's tipped away by Alvarez. Picked up by Panko. Panko now. Met by Wall. It was hop out to Barnes. Skirmish at the blue line. Only as far as Oshansky finds Wall. And a great save by Alvarez. Now Oshansky to Benjamin. Benjamin winds up. Slap shot. Save by Alvarez. 49 saves from Serena Alvarez tonight. She's been the story for the Canton team with a little offense on their side. Plotsburg, on the other hand, 
the goaltender, whether it be Bo Bien or Davis, they haven't faced much. I couldn't agree with you more, Joe. Almost out shooting the ruse by 40. 38 to be exact. Insane. Now Cho, unable to clear his own, gets chased down by Emerton. Able to find Benjamin. Benjamin looks for Wall, hits a skate, and makes its way to Morris. Morris able to clear her zone, only as far as Tilly Couture. Now Emerton taken away by Benjamin. Benjamin and Couture going at it. Now it's to Toro. Over to McGarity. Picked up by Cho to Benjamin. Wall skates into the zone. Spins, collects, waits for teammates, buys time, flips it behind the net where it's met by O'Keefe. O'Keefe and Stum. O'Keefe comes out on top. Looking for space, looking to use speed. Throws it into the zone, just past Bobian. Norton met in the corner by Snook. Looking for Stum. Snook takes, but picked up by Balfour. Over to Schmelzer. Schmelzer skates, uses those wheels we know she has. Fires just off target. Ten minutes left, Bruce. If you're SUNY Canton, you gotta be thinking, gotta get some more pucks to the net. Exactly. With O'Keefe's looking to do just that, blockered away by Bobian. That's their first big chance in a long time, it seems. And on a first save for Bobian. <laughs> well, second save for Bobian. Now about four. Looking for Schmelzer. Now to the line, picked up by Mickelveen. Mickelveen skates in, looks for a shot. And that's caught and held by Chloe Bobian. Senior night. Emotions are high, tensions are high on both sides of the ice. And it seems as though the Plattsburgh Cardinals are starting to pull away despite it only being a two goal lead. Canton hasn't really put much to the net of, well now Bobian. Now Leighton drops back to defense. Slap shot. That one goes wide. Here comes Orr. Met by Hansen. Hansen clears it into the zone. Only as far as Wozik. Wozik circles. Finds Thompson. Thompson up ice to Yarkovsky. Looking for Riggy. Takes a deflection. Back in the Plattsburgh zone. Where it's collected by Bridget Orr. Finds Riggy. Riggy met by Hansen. Yarkovsky using those wheels. Tipping it away from Panko, picked up by Riggy. Here we go with Hansen. Now with Panko. Panko holding off Yarkovsky and chipping it down into the Plattsburgh zone where Thompson will collect. Finds Orr. Orr looks cross ice, deflected down by Leighton. Up to Masoda. Met by Garupolo. Back now with. Bobian and she will cover from the neutral zone shot pass clear chip in by Clement. Great game so far if you're a Plattsburgh Cardinals fan or player. Or anyone in the local area. Can't say the same for Canton. They haven't really produced much on the offense. Yeah, I'm definitely abusing that now, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Still in the Plattsburgh zone. Tussle against the boards. Looking for a shot picked up by Benjamin. Benjamin looks for Krosnick. Krosnick looks to use her wheels past Garuflo. She will. She circles and she'll find the back of the net. Sarah Krosnick with her second of the game. Absolutely used all her strength and speed to get past Sandrine Garuflo and slot that one into the back of the net past Alvarez. Cardinals lead four to one. And the seniors have really stepped up tonight when it comes to Bobien, when it comes to Davis, despite not facing much, they saved almost everything that has gone through them. Cross neck and Unsworth scoring goals. Seniors, this is their night and they've shined bright. Yes, yeah, sir, couldn't have said it better myself. That's why you're the professional one. <laughs> Unsworth dumps it in for Wall to chase. O'Keefe collects. Can't get a pass to Olshansky. Picked up by Wall. Now, 
Shansky circling. Only as far as Micklebean. Micklebean hooks it out to center. It's getting down. Looking for a shot was Lalonde, but it takes a deflection off Benjamin. Now O'Keefe able to hold the zone. Lalonde gets it stripped from her by Wall. Wall in a tussle with Snook. <laughs> Snook's going to get called for hooking unless Unsworth's able to find the back of the net. A nice lift of the stick there. And Snook, I believe, will be going to the box for hook. Unless, yep, Desiree Snook, the junior out of Paradise, and Newfoundland out. and Labrador, Bruce. Had oh. the pleasure of speaking <laughs> with her. That's the only reason I know. She has an odd routine. I will say this: very superstitious is that Desiree Snook. Left side of the gear first, taping the stick, listening to music. Sixty minutes before game time, leaves the ice 56 minutes before game time. Wow. Benjamin Rifles can't get a deflection from Thor. Now Norton to Benjamin. Back to Norton. Back to Benjamin. Back to Norton. She fires. Saved by Alvarez. Chips in front. And Alvarez will cover. Thorick takes a hit from McGarity. Ref's telling her to Keep a calm, cool head, or she's going to be in the box with Snook. Another five on three, right? Yeah. I, I the mean, last thing they want. The Roos held, held their own on the last one. Now face off in, in the Roos zone. Puck will be collected by Krosnick. Krosnick finds Benjamin. Benjamin now over to Norton. Norton back to Benjamin. Benjamin circles, drops for Norton. Norton rifles. Kicked away by a defender. Now Norton, back to Benjamin. Over to Norton. Back to Benjamin. Over to Borick. Borick looks for Krosnick in front. Kicked away by Alvarez. Now Krosnick to Norton. Norton to Benjamin. Benjamin, slap rifle, saved by Alvarez. And it's cleared down the ice by Michaela Young. 50 seconds remaining in this power play, six minutes in the game, Joe. What's your thoughts so far? There are levels to this game, Bruce, and we're seeing it here tonight. Cardinals outplaying these Canton Kangaroos tonight. Hasn't even been close. And that's why four to one lead for the Cardinals. 57 shots to 16 of the Mind, mind boggling. Balfour looks for a shot, wipe out in front of the net. Slow to get up is Unsworth. Norton finds Masoda. Back to Norton to Balfour. Balfour to Norton. Norton rifles. Patted away by Alvarez. And we're going to stoppage as Unsworth and Panko were getting into a little skirmish there. The freshman Panko and the grad student Unsworth. You definitely think someone got into someone's head there. Yeah. Frustration boiling over after a long couple periods for these Canton Roos. They haven't done much. Yeah, 17 shots, but if you look at Plattsburgh, 58. Insane. Was like at the end of the power play, globe down by Alvarez. Puck was loose, the ref lost sight. We're gonna have a face off as the power play has come to an end. The Ruse pulled off the onslaught from the Cardinals. Not by much though. Multiple opportunities, Alvarez equal the most. Tonight, all of the ones on the, pen of the, the power play. Alvarez has been the one constant for the Ruse this entire game. She's been good when she's needed to be. And yeah, she's led in four, but what has the team in front of her really done? She's Little been, to nothing. So. She's been phenomenal. Now, scrum in the corner. Bodies are falling. Able to be picked up by Snook, only as far as Wozik. Wozik finds Riggy. Circles. Doesn't have 
Any support, and it'll be picked up by Mickelveen. Mickelveen skates down, looks to dangle, can't quite find it, neither can McGarity. Cleared away by Thompson. Now Mickelveen back to McGarity. Looks in front of the net, tipped away by Wozik and out of the zone where Ruffalo will collect and McGarity will clear into the zone. Now Thompson is chased down by Snook. Lifted stick on Garofalo and Morris will collect. Looks in front for Yarkovsky, tipped out and back into the zone for the Ruse to connect. Now with Snook off the boards, picked up by Benjamin. Now Stum getting chased down and harassed by Labor and dumped into the zone where Couture will chase. Met by Calhoun, popped away. Now McKinnon slings it around. Couture and Calhoun go at it in the corner. Stum comes to help, but it's taken away by Hansen. And we got a stoppage. And penalty. another penalty. Maybe interference in the corner with Calhoun. This is not something you want to see, Joe, as Tilly Couture goes to the box for two or less with only 341 remaining in this game. Unnecessary penalty. You're down in the game. I understand the frustration, but you can't keep taking penalties like this. Benjamin took one, and look what happened. Goal for Canton. So. Exactly. Another chance for this Plattsburgh power play to get underway. They already have a goal tonight, I believe. Yeah, Benjamin. Over to Norton. With a holding call in the corner during that skirmish is the reason Couture is in the box. As Boric looks for Norton, but it'll come all the way back for Bobian to collect. And Norton to regroup with McGarity on the challenge. Norton circles, McGarity sticks with her. Pass over to Boric. Looks for Benjamin. Benjamin now has Krosnick in support. Drops it off to her. Now with Norton. Norton has Olshansky. Olshansky circling. Still circles. Looks for a low shot. And that one's able to be cleared away and popped out of the zone by Asha Hansen. Just shy of three minutes left, Bruce. Desperation time, or is this one out of reach? Hard to tell. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna see pretty soon if how the coaching staff for Canton feels about if it's out of reach or not with the pulling of Alvarez or not. But in my opinion, I think this might be game, set, match. Two and a half minutes left, down by three. Haven't been able all game to break the defensive structure of Plattsburgh. I don't see the point in adding insult to injury and adding an empty net in there, too. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, Joe. So, I mean, I think there's positives that Canton can take from this match. You got to realize you're playing the number three in the nation, Plattsburgh State. 22-0 and this season. Absolutely phenomenal. phenomenal. Besides, they've had two losses this season to um, Cortland. One, one was the Wisconsin University team. of Wisconsin at River Falls. <laughs> Yeah. Thankfully, that was a home match. <laughs> Not match, game. Balfour, cross ice, finds Orr. Shot on net, saved by Alvarez, picked up by O'Keefe. Met behind the net. Now with Wall. Wall finds Wazik. Wazik rifles, saved and held by Alvarez. Minute 50 and change remaining in this one. 13 seconds on the power play. I, I don't think there's much that the Ruse can do, Joe, to be able to bring this one back. This might just have to be seeing one out without having to allow anything else to find the back of your net. Outside of one power play goal and one decent rush or two in this game, that's been it for the Ruse. It's been cardinal domination from opening bell, and it looks like the last. And we will have, as that, that power play ends, another one begins for the Ruse, going to the box. That's Asha Hansen as um, Couture was exiting the box. She passed right past Hansen who was entering. 
Another and unnecessary penalty. Two minutes or less, Joe, on this power play. It's either going to see out the rest of this match or we're going to have another goal for the Cardinals. Which one it's going to be, we don't know at this point. Can't imagine uh, if you're can't you're going to pull the goalie now. Yeah, that would not be the greatest idea. You can't think that. Um, who is it? Kaylee Grant. Sorry, you can't think that Kaylee Grant. As there is another delayed penalty. My goodness. In favor of Plattsburgh. <laughs> it seems like Calhoun getting rough and aggressive with Couture, who just got out of the box. And it'll actually, it'll be Riley Calhoun going to the box. Pardon me. Oh, and Couture. Nope, pardon me, that is that is Grayson Emerton, assistant captain, junior. It's gonna be four on four three. On three. Mm -hmm. Spoke with Riley Calhoun this past week. She said this team is like a family. Everybody's determined to win every single game and put their heart and soul out there. And tonight is just another example of it. Yeah, they're proving why they're one of the best in the nation and why they're such a close, have such a close camaraderie amongst the team. And that's one commonality I've found in the interviews I've done over the past couple of weeks. Everybody wants to see each other succeed and it's like a family atmosphere and everybody is cooperating and helping oh. each other succeed. Great uh, to see. So I lied. It's five on four. <sighs> it's a five on four due to, I guess, offsetting penalties, I guess. Now Thompson over to Wazik. Wazik circles, rifles deflected by the stick of Clement. Now Thompson. Holding, surveying, dropping for Yarkovsky over to Wazik. Wazik, 30 seconds remaining in this one. Joe Mason, Bridget it's a big Orland. game. Big game for the cards. They yeah, played phenomenal. Up to the test. Exactly. Still looking for more. They're playing a real complete game. Yes, they're up by three goals, but they're looking for more. They don't care. Exactly, and that was Isa Thompson. She doesn't care that there's only 18 seconds left and they're up three. Why, why not net another one? Yeah. We're going to have to see this one out and get ready for Yarkovsky looking <laughs> to try. They're still chipping away, looking to see if they can't get another one, but that will seal the deal. And the Plattsburgh State Cardinals will go on to win at home on senior night against the SUNY Canton Roos or Kangaroos. Either or. Either or, whatever floats your boat. Phenomenal play by the Plattsburgh Cardinals tonight. No doubt about it. They played up to the task. Big night, big emotional night. Everybody played up to the task, as I said. Um, senior night, I know the people I talked to going into this game, they all wanted to win one for the seniors, and they played great. Canton, on the other hand, needs some work when it comes to offense. They didn't really have many chances. Yeah, not many. They had 17 shots on goal in favor of the Ruse. And then you look to the side of Plattsburgh, 63 Insane. shots on net. Four of them finding the back of the net. That means, if my math is correct, that Serena Alvarez made 59 saves tonight. She was the story of the SUNY Canton team. She was the only story. Yes, there was a goal on the power play, and that's all right. That was from one of their best players. But senior night, Serena Alvarez, she played good, but... Could not get the win for the team. That's that absolutely the insane to even think about. Like, how saves. do you fathom 59 saves in a hockey game? Yeah, she was peppered in this game and the past two games against Canton. She played good, but she, plays she can't Canton. score goals from 200 feet out, Bruce. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. 
an empty net, but there was no empty net for these plastic cards. No, there them. was there was there was a YouTube video where there was a, a goalie who shot really? it, and it like took a deflection, and the other goalie missed it. Really? Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but <laughs> sounds like anywho, an odd <laughs> back to hockey as we got a nice shot of the seniors getting their picture taken down on the ice right now. Big shout out. To all of the seniors, we have Chloe Bobian, Sierra Benjamin, Ashley Davis, Sarah Krosnick, Hannah Rose, Holly Schmelzer, and Nicole Unsworth. They play some great. grad students, some just normal seniors. I'm a senior. I'm a senior You're too, a Bruce. Senior. Yep. They're seniors. We're all leaving together. Yep. Good deal. Seven, one out. And then we have playoffs, Bruce. Lest we oh, forget, yeah. we have playoffs. So this is not the end of the line. Yeah, you're not. Our one. voices will be back. 21-2-0 this season, the last home game on home ice. They went out with a bang, but playoffs are coming. Yeah, playoffs do ensue, so make sure you stay tuned for the lovely voices of Bruce Juno and Joe Mason. And I'd like to give a, a friendly shout-out to our friend Bruce Carlin, who's our station manager behind the scenes doing things uh, that he needs to do when it comes to technical things and stuff of that nature. So major shout out to him for making this all happen when yeah. it comes to the technical side of things. Yeah, he, he, he does phenomenal. He makes sure everything runs smooth and works up to par. Like we couldn't hear each other yesterday. No. And he figured it out in about two seconds what was wrong. So much appreciation to Bruce Carlin. Um, I also want to shout out executive producer Jeffrey Jeff Goff, Goff, who's, the also, Jeffrey Goff. who's also our sideline reporter, and he has – It appears to be Sarah, Sarah Krosnick. Sarah Krosnick down there on the sideline. We'll send it to Jeffrey Goff. Um, so I'm down here with the captain of the team, Sarah Krosnick. Sarah, two goals here on senior night. That's got to feel good. Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, definitely felt good to just – close it out the regular season with two goals on senior night for sure. Now I can imagine emotions were a bit high tonight. How were you able to control those throughout the game and have such a dominating performance? You know, you just be excited, be grateful for the five years I've gotten here and just really take in everything and enjoy the last home game with the girls here. Speaking of that career, what has this team meant to you in your time here at Plattsburgh? I mean, they're a family. I love all the girls. They're great. It's Every year we get a new group and they've been great every year and we were taken in as freshmen and we just keep taking them in every year. All right, and moving forward into the playoffs, what's the plan for this team? You guys had an amazing regular season, but there's still some work to be done, right? Yeah, I'd say just keeping things tight on our end. I think this game was a great example of what we got to do going into the into the postseason here and just staying tight, coming out in the first every game and being ready to go. All right, and now our pre-show host, one of them, Eli Perez, Asked if he could borrow your jersey for his show. Uh, I'm <laughs> gonna have to check with Coach, but we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, this jersey might be a oh, <laughs> this jersey might be a bit sentimental, I can imagine. Yeah. And finally, do you have anything to say to the PSTV audience? Uh, go Cards! <laughs> All right, congrats on the Thank win. You. Thank you. All right, back to the booth with Joe and Bruce, guys. Phenomenal interview there with Sarah Krosnick, the captain and grad student of the Plattsburgh State Cardinals. Phenomenal win tonight for them. Huge win. Huge, Huge win. win. And as I said earlier in the game, there are levels to this game, and we saw it tonight. A 22-0 and team blew right through SUNY Canton. And if this game is any indication of the playoff picture that we're seeing in the next couple weeks, we can expect maybe, just maybe, a big playoff run for these Plattsburgh Cardinals. And maybe bringing home some more silverware right here in the Ronald B. Stafford Arena but I don't want to speak for you, but Joe Mason, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Bruce. And for Joe and myself, Bruce Juno, we will be sending it back to the studio with Eli and Pat. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Joe. Hopefully you enjoyed the rest of your weekend. As we finish off the last home stance of the season. I'm not going to lie. It was amazing. Plattsburgh patting up their goal. One more goal in the third period. 
63 to 17 shots on goal. Plasper came out of that gate shooting shots. 63 shots, Eli. That is a ton of shots. But you got to give your flowers to Ciara Alvarez. 59 saves. That is crazy. That deserves some respect as well. That was She was the true MVP. That had to be noticed. No matter what, if your goalie's going up there proving a point to protect the lead, well, not even a lead, try to keep this game in Canton's hands, it didn't really work out for Canton's side, but for her, her stats goes up by a mile. 59 saves is impressive, especially on senior night. Yeah, absolutely. But let's see what got it started for the Cardinals tonight on their first goal coming up right here. Here they go. They enter the zone. A little pass in front there. Shot. Backhand top shelf. May Olshansky roofs the backhand over Ciara Alvarez. That was the first goal for the Cardinals. Three minutes left in the first period, and that started the barn burner of what was game. That was that was the starter of the game today. First period lasted a little bit longer, but overall, whew, Olshanky's Olshanky started it off well. Going into the second period, Sarah Crossneck. Oh my, oh my. Getting that go to put Plasberg up two to nothing. Crossneck. Impressive every time you watch her. Yeah, she had a great game. Uh, on senior night, she really showed up. That was a great tip in front off the shot from Sierra Benjamin. So, it, like you said, Plasberg just loves to shoot. 63 shots this game, and it shows. They get rebounds, deflections, and everything. So, there. That's, 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 that's. I don't know what to say about this team. I just really don't. Let's go on to the second. No, the third goal. The third goal. The third goal. Here we go. Late in the second period, possession in the zone. Shot from the point, slapper, goes into the corner, but the Cardinals will retain possession, keep it in, back down in the corner, fighting for it on the boards. Can's not giving up. Get it, feisty. Here it is in front of the net. Unsworth drives in, defense lets her in. Alvarez, no chance there on the forehand. 3-1 plats after they let up a goal on the power play. Unsworth got it right back for him. Unsworth over here grabbing her own rebound and going putting that back in. That made it up to 3-1. to one. Now going to the third uh, third period. Whew. Another goal. Let's see that fourth goal for Sarah Crossneck. If it's up. We'll have it up here in a second. But, <laughs> um, but her, interview with, her interview with Jeff, it seems they're ready for the playoffs, oh, Eli. There it is. They're ready for her second goal of the game. She beat the guy one-on-one. -on -one. She got in there deep, a little mini breakaway, beat Alvarez on the blocker side, short side. That was a great move by Crossneck. That's why she's their captain right there. That's the Capitan, Sarah Crossneck. That was her 15 goal of the season. Yeah, wait, yeah, it is. The 15 goal of the season. Yeah. It's amazing. Crossneck, always impressive. Plasberg ending off their final home stance here against Canton. Four to one. An impressive win. And a final road trip coming up ahead for them. Yeah, they beat Canton three times this year already. And this might be a potential playoff match, like Joe was saying, in the field house. So this might, might play four times this year. And they played well against them every time. Uh, the Cardinals dominated from start to finish this game. Played a full 60 minutes. Canton really didn't have a chance, honestly. Alvarez kept them in it, but... They looked outmatched today, so if they want to make the playoffs and go far, they're going to have to adjust against this Cardinal team. Well, Canton has only a couple of games left, two more games to really go. As for Plattsburgh, two more games away against Buffalo State. That's all from us here in the studio. To catch up on any games like these, catch us on Plattsburgh State TV's YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. That's all from us right here. Congratulations to the seven seniors and four graduates who played this game amazingly. I'm Elazar Perez with Pat Pfeiffer, and that's all from us. Have a good night, Plattsburgh.